All right, guys, it's been a really long time since I've brought you any uh, footage from my Langmar Systems Crossfire Pro and the Everlast Power Plasma 82i. So I figured I would uh, fire up the phone slash camera here and I would show uh, the process of cutting some half inch plate. Now, this program has a really long loop of half inch cutting and I have kicked my breaker off earlier today when I tried to run this because the compressor ran at the same time. So, I'm just gonna roll this. This is gonna be live, unedited footage. Of course, if the breaker kicks off, then uh, I'll probably wrap up the video. But for now, I'm gonna just show you guys what it's like to cut half inch material on the Langmar Systems Crossfire Pro with an Everlast Power Plasma 82i. So, also, I'm an affiliate of Everlast, so if you're interested in one of these power uh, uh, power sources, check the link in the description below this video. And if you use that link, that will help me out, and it'll help me to continue to make more content like this. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. I'm running, also, this is piercing half inch. If you're interested in this uh, alignment jig, check out BexArmory.com. I have these posted there. Uh, I've got the files ready to cut. It attaches right down here to the frame.
Love Biscuit. All right. So, that's exactly what happened last time. Because these cuts are so long without any... Basically, I'm running 100% duty cycle. Um, normally, when you're cutting the thinner stuff, you know, it cuts and then it stops. And while it stops and travels, the wires in the wall are cooling down. And then it cuts and then it stops. And then it cuts and it stops. This is just full out 80 amps and it does not stop. And the reason I'm cutting so slow, I could cut a lot faster, but basically I want to have almost zero angle, right? So I don't want a bevel. And if you slow your cuts down, yes, you'll get more dross, but that knocks off real easy with a slag hammer. But you'll get these beautiful cuts that are really, really straight with almost no angle or bevel if you slow it down. The downside is um, it takes a lot of amps. How many? Uh, I don't know. I clearly don't have enough, so I'm not the expert in how big of a breaker to have, but this is the only part that has ever kicked the lights out in my shop. And it only happens when the air compressor is running and this is running at the same time. I almost made it all the way through this part without the without that happening. So what I'm gonna do is the software here has recognized the loss of power. And you can pause and read this error message, but basically it's saying, hey, there's no more power. So I'm gonna say, reset and right here is where i'm at right so i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to go to this line right here i'm going to highlight that line and then i'm going to say resume from that line and then it's going to generate a program now if i zoom out you'll see the only part of this program is this little part here that's not done so when i turn the power back on and I hit start, it will finish just this little part. And I can wait and let the air, compre air compressor finish running. And uh, and then this is part is going to finish just fine as long as I don't move that part down there. Now, the reason this is possible is because it's a laptop and it runs on a battery. So even if your breaker goes off, you're good to go. If you're running a PC like a desktop and you don't have a battery backup, you know, all, everything goes to zero. It's going to be a little bit harder to resume your work. But with this nice little you know, resume online where you can just click any line and then click on, you know, whatever. If you click on a, you have to click on a line and now you can choose the loop or the line and you can start from there. But anyways, guys, that's all I got this time. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Richard Beck. I really appreciate you watching this channel. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. That really helps the algorithm and the engagement metrics, which really in turn helps this channel. Once again, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later.